check out my drawing of the disciples. Oh, careful! They've got fire really close to them. Yeah, I drew it there. It's the fiery tongues that show up in their story. That's pretty good, Adeline. But check this out. Ah, house tornado! An emotional response for my artwork. Just what I was hoping to inspire. Thank you, Clarabella. Clara, it's all right. These are the things that happened in the Pentecost story when the Holy Spirit showed up. What did you do for your picture? I drew the disciples a couple of days after all the scary stuff happened on Pentecost, and they've come to terms with being able to speak all languages. That's Matthias eating a sandwich. Um... Wow, Clara, I was under the impression that we were supposed to show the disciples being filled with the Holy Spirit, not cold-cut sandwiches. I did draw them filled with the Holy Spirit, and it's a grilled cheese sandwich. Then, where's the Holy Spirit? It's inside of them. Yeah, but you see how in our pictures, they have fire and powerful winds rushing all around them. Your picture doesn't have any of that. No, I just wanted to draw what it looked like when the Holy Spirit fills me. And it usually looks like this. Fills you? What do you mean, Clara? Yeah, you can't speak all languages or heal the sick like the disciples did. And I've never once seen you cast out an unclean spirit. No, I guess not. Oh, but when I was too scared to go on stage for the talent show last winter, I hid in the costume rack and wasn't going to come out until it was all over. But when I got pushed out on stage, people thought hiding was my special talent. And I just felt inside like, Clara, you can totally do this. And then I did. I have no memory of that. I remember. So you think that was the Holy Spirit, Clara? I think so. Pastor Donna says that the Holy Spirit inspires us, and I was pretty inspired. So it's kind of like the time I was sick with the gerbil flu. Monty made me a greeting card that had everyone saying how much they missed me. Ada, this is one of those cards where you can record your voice. Ada, Ada, should I come out of this coat or not? I need your advice. Ada, come back. There's no balance to my tricks without you. You were sick? I don't remember that. Where was I? I felt so moved and loved by you all that I started feeling better. Do you think that could have been the Holy Spirit, too? I think it might be. But none of that stuff sounds as amazing as fire that doesn't burn you or a tornado in your house. No, it doesn't sound amazing, but it really felt amazing. But those things could happen anytime. To anyone. You're right, Victor. Anyone can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, Victor, good point. You really get this Holy Spirit stuff.